Hello YouTube. Happy Holidays. This is just a brief little holiday message for you. I was thinking about Christmas and giving and ownership. And I remember uh, something that my Correct Sentence Structure Communication Parse Syntax Grammar Tutor, Raven, uh, once conveyed to me about ownership and stewardship and possessorship. Now, this isn't exactly what he said, but I'm, what I'm going to share with you is my perception and, and, and of what he said and what I took away from it. When you own something, when you claim to possess something, then that is something that can be taken away from you and in a sense, used against you to coerce you or modify your decision-making, your choices. Um, for example, if you claim that you possess or own land, uh, you know, the, the fiction system, government, whatever, can always eminent domain you and just take it away from you. And, and threaten you and things like that. It's something that can be taken away, so therefore you can, in some sense, uh, your choices are influenced and modified by the danger of losing something. Because now you're in a position to lose something when you have the mentality that you own something or you possess something. Like if you, you feel you own or possess land or... You know, material possessions, whatever it is, your freedom, children, uh, another, you know, person in a relationship or something like like that. If, if you claim that it's yours, now it, you're in danger of losing it, that whole psychological condition of state. Hope I'm getting my point across. When you claim stewardship of something, it means you don't claim to possess it and it's okay if you lose it because it wasn't never yours to begin with so you have nothing to lose so the point I'm, I'm bringing it around to is the most recent reaction video that I did and yes for those uh, super sleuths out there on the internet the Sherlock Holmeses of the World Wide Web I'm aware that reaction is a no contract word I use that in the context of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, YouTube land, reaction videos are a hashtag and it's a phenomenon that gets a lot of views and people like to watch them. That's why I use it. If you notice, I don't use that word in my correct sentence structure. But if you had closure on the grammar, you super sleuths out there, you would know that. Uh, but thanks for continuing to point that out. And, and I'll continue to give you closure on it. Uh, but the most recent reaction video I did about Russell J. Gould and um, his most recent claims in the most re in the Piercing Dynasty video he did, um, it appears as though after David Winmiller passed away, Russell came forward to claim possessorship on the construct that he and David had, or that they developed together. Whereas this did not exist before David passed. Before David passed away, um, there was never any sense that the, their construct was something that you needed permission to use. They invited, well, David invited people in to use it. And, and Russell, in those... Uh, seminars and stuff that he did with David, Russell never stepped forward and said, this is mine, you know, it, you need to come through me, you don't have my autograph, you don't have my thumbprint, never ever said any of that stuff until after David Wynn Miller passed away. So now, if you take the psychology of what I shared with you at the beginning of the video and you apply it to uh, Russell's possible condition of state, I'm not going to say what he is or isn't. This is my guess. I'm speculating. 
that now, if he feels like he owns it and he possesses it, it's something he can lose. So it kind of, in my mind, it reminds me of that character from The Lord of the Rings, Gollum, where he's always talking about my precious, that ring that he had, that he found. Just like in the video, Russell claims, when Winifred Adams asked him, this technology that you discovered, and he said, found. He found it. Just like Gollum found the ring, he didn't create it. He took possessorship of it and uh, claimed ownership of it. But then he was in danger of losing it. And when he lost it, he lost his mind and began acting erratic. And uh, that ring, that condition of state, psychology of owning something, being selfish with it, it warped his mind and he began doing things that he wouldn't normally do. And in the end, it destroyed him. I just wanted to bring that up <laughs> uh, during these, this holiday season to just gently suggest to the viewer, keep those things in mind when you're talking about owning and possessing other things. Because this is where rule one, rule equal comes in. We all arrive here on this geometric level playing field the same way, naked and crying. And then we leave basically the same way with nothing. We leave naked. We all leave the same way. We all come the same way. Rule one, rule equal. We can't take it with us. So if you are truly with the spirit of giving, you will keep this in mind, uh, along with the kindness, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. Uh, coming into the new year. Thank you, and happy holidays.